Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how CDC is going to work on managed instance. You all know that CDC stands for change data capture and it records only the DML statements like insert, update and delete. It is not going to record the select statements. You can use this feature for acting a single table or the whole the, uh, the tables which are there in the database. And you can also use sometimes it's not actual solution it but you can use like this as a table archiving process okay and mainly we used to uh, configure this for editing purpose only okay first uh, uh, let me introduce my environment here I have one database called test and in that I have one table called text okay in that I have three columns name id name and result okay yeah. now uh, before going to that first we uh, we need to check whether the cdc is what are enabled or not okay if you use with the default dm is not databases if you see zero it means the cdc is not enabled on the database level if you want to see that on the uh, table level if you see that zero it means uh, the, uh there is one table called test and it is not enabled okay cdc is like a two-step process first we need to enable on the database level and and then you need to enable on the individually on your required tables first let's do that see uh once you uh, if you want uh you need to execute the stored procedure to enable the cdc click execute well once you execute that in order to work uh, CDC properly, it will create some stored procedures and as well as system tables. Go to database and click refresh. Expand the tables. Here uh, expand the system tables. Here these are all the system tables which, uh, which starts with CDC. See here you these are all the tables, right? Okay. So if these these stored procedures will help you on which columns the tracking is enabled. Okay. And these are the only DDL statements. Okay. And now <clears throat> currently, uh, if you expand, go to the program multi and expand stored procedures. See, these many stored procedures are created for CDC in order to work properly. Expand the stored procedures. See, these wherever you start, see with CDC. It means it is related to that or future. Now let's see that let's enable that to enable at the for the database level you need to use these stored procedures. First you need to pass the schema name table name. Select that and click execute. So it, it got executed successfully, go to database and click refresh. Expand the tables. Expand system tables. See here whenever you enable cdc on one future it is uh, with the table name along with cd will be created it means it is going to track the changes in this in this table right click on that click select so right now we don't we don't have it right it will show empty okay uh, I don't have any results in the test table okay 
So whenever uh, you are done any changes, the there is an op column called operation. So it will record with the change. Wherever you see the one, it means it is a delete operation. Wherever you see two is insert operation. Three is for the update and when it is a old value and four is the also an update for is the new value. You will see that. So CD is a, is a dependent on the SQL Server agent. Whenever you enable CDC, two mainly two jobs will be created. One is test capture and test cleanup. Let's see that how many records I have. AMD. So I am inserting two records. Click execute. Now go to that and click execute. See? Two changes are there. Two, two stands for insert operation. And go back to this one and perform the delete. Then go back and execute. One is for delete. Okay. And go back to this one. Update. Um, okay. Go back to this one and click execute. See, this is the value. And this is the old value and this is the new value. I have updated Praveen with Ravi. See here you are able to see the here using this slash operation you came to know what kind of operation it has done it has performed. Now how to clean up the lab if you want to for example I have enabled CDC on n number of tables I want to disable a few of them so pass the schema and database uh, table name and the dbo underscore test this is the capture instance click that and I click execute okay and see that any tables are there or not select and click ok if you see zero means there is no cdc is enabled on this column and now disable on the database level click execute and go back to this command, this command and click. See, we have successfully disabled the change tracking. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.